Alright guys, so, very hot, uh, dingy attic here, ton of spray and insulation. Uh, the insulation has covered most of the board, so you kind of have to shuffle your feet to find where you're going. I'll show you how I got down there, it's a little bit sketch. I will probably want to bring some more boards, but we have a small, what's going to be a two and a half ton uh, Unico system replacement here. We'll do unit strut, a uh, pan underneath, a new drain. I'm sorry, not a new drain, we'll flush out the drain. And they're all kind of tying back in. It's, it's, and this one's kind of odd. I guess they're coming off both ends there. This one's drooped down, so we have to support that. Like, there's a huge freaking bow in it. They tie in together. That one's drooped down as well. And they go out to that side of the house. But just reconnect the uh, existing return, and then reconnect the existing supply going down it actually feeds the floor below this on the west side you come down here very scarily walk around the framing and then there are right past here you see where all my footprints are all of this is actually boarded up so you can step in front of it you'd be replacing cooling and blower module for uh, the third floor system, which is probably going to end up being a three and a half ton, uh, will be flushing the line set. And actually, since they're heat pumps, it may be because they're a little bit light on venting, so it would have to be a little bit questionable. It's going to be a little bit questionable going back with uh, uh, three and a half. So we either may have to we may have to add a couple vents for this one, or go back with a three ton. So we'll have to talk to customer, but there's really no way to feasibly get these vents in. Uh, which is going to be the main concern. That's where the drains go out to. So we're going to have to fix up their drain situation. We'll definitely have to add a light up here. Flush lines that do in pan, hang from joist to the end. Uh, it's all plaster, like falling apart plaster around. Uh, I'm not going to recommend doing, I guess we could do a cut in for stairs, but you're, you're talking about cutting out a lot of prep plaster and uh, um, in a 104 year old house with knob and tube running everywhere so I'm going to say because the opening is large enough that we work off the ladder as inconvenient as it is in this one and I don't know if the stairs are legitimately going to be an option here so should be everything 